Welcome to Girotech, a top secret vehicle testing facility just south of Pretoria off the N14. This is where the old government used to keep our nukes, but today Rolls-Royce South Africa had hired the entire place and turned it into a playground. Hello, allow me to introduce you to some Rolls Royces. That's the new Cullinan, there's a Dawn, that's a Wraith, there's a Ghost, there's a Phantom and just another Cullinan on the end there for good measure. These are global press cars. They've been flown over to South Africa where Rolls Royce have invited some of the media to take part in something a bit different. First up was a timed Gymkhana challenge on a skid pan in a Wraith. <laughs> so this is the Black Badge Wraith. It has a stupidly large and powerful engine, 6.6 liter twin turbo V12. There we go. And ooh, full throttle. Lots of horsepower from this twin turbo V12. Oh, good grip at the front. Let's get her around here. Handbrake turn, there's no handbrake. Oh, a little bit loose at the back. So I'm not going for theatrics here. I'm going for the best time. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> you have to be very gentle with the throttle here. Otherwise, you are going very sideways. Oh, there's understeer. ABS kicked. Oh, yeah, I caught it and no grip at the rear and done. Ugh. Well, some of the most fun I've ever had. Uh, a V12 Wraith on a skid pan. It's actually super controllable. It's actually quite predictable what's going to happen. Obviously you get on the throttle and there's about a million torques and they just want to go through the rear wheels and I did have the traction control off which was pretty awesome. But yeah, steps out a little bit, a little bit of opposite lock, get it back into line and I just got the fastest time of the day. This is the Cullinan. For me it's the rock star of the Rolls-Royce range but not one of these young upstart punks. This speaks of legends. Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, ACDC. And those band members are probably some of the only people on earth who can afford it. This is a roughly 10 million rand car. And for some reason, the nice people at Rolls Royce wanted me to take it off road. This is either going to be the best day of my life or the most expensive day of my life. I'm so nervous, I can, I can barely talk. I've kind of forgotten how to present about cars. Why did they make me do this? I don't know if it's designed for this. Maybe it has like modes. Oh, off-road mode. <laughs> There's a huge button which says off-road. And sometimes people ask me if I get nervous when I drive expensive test cars. I do a little bit, but I've gotten used to it. But this is the most nervous I've ever been in a test car that sounded expensive. I suppose it is good to know that if there are some very difficult obstacles on the way to your ski lodge that you know, your Cullinan can cope with this sort of thing. I might just park this car, leave the keys inside and run away. But I couldn't run away just yet because there was still an opportunity to drive Girotech's high-speed oval in one of the rolls. That sort of thing is hard to turn down. Please forgive me for wearing my sunglasses. It is very bright out here. busy following a Phantom, a Wraith, a Ghost and two Cullinans around the high-speed oval at Girotech. This is where manufacturers from all around the world and where the old government used to test military vehicles. And I am in the Black Badge Dawn, which is a bit of a power increase 
over your normal dawn and it's got this really cool matte black paintwork and it, I, I feel amazing I feel like a slightly less cool version of Pharrell so this high-speed over Legera Tech the outside lane is designed so that you can take your hands off the wheel at 120 k's an hour it's a bit understandable that I'm a bit nervous to take my hands off the wheel in a Rolls-Royce let's get my speed to exactly 120 <laughs> Look at that! This is so cool! <laughs> you know, they always told me that that was possible at Gerotech, but I've never tested it. This is the first time I've tested it. This is incredible! How did they get this design right? When it comes to Rolls-Royce, I think it's easy to get distracted by the price of the cars. They are horrendously expensive. I mean, that Cullinan is over 10 million Rand. I don't know how much this one is that I'm driving right now, but I suspect it's pretty close. But what I think is easy to forget, especially if you've never got a chance to drive one, is how incredible the engineering is in these cars. There is just nothing else on the planet that feels like this to drive. In fact, as a motoring journalist, I'm ruined now because no other car ever is going to impress me, at least when it comes to ride quality. There's just nothing that rides like a Phantom. There's nothing that feels like a Cullinan. And maybe that's what you're paying for. There is just nothing else like this. It's not like Rolls-Royce has to go and do market research on their rivals. What rivals? Who the hell makes a car like this? And as an engineer, that has to be so much fun. It's like, uh, okay, no expense spared, gents. Make this car the best riding car in the world. Make it the quietest car in the world. Off you go. What's the budget? Doesn't matter. Make it the best. And that's pretty cool in and of itself. This has been a really wonderful day really special. Did you know that we also sell really awesome car themed merchandise? Check out our range of custom t-shirts and prints at our online store now. Simply click on the square box on your screen and we'll take you there or the link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.